Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're moving along with our Galaxy S4 guides and tutorials. And we're going to talk about S Translator, and we're also going to talk about the optical scanner since both of them are similar in the sense that they do some translations. Um, S Translator to start with here is a lot like Google uh, uh, Google Translate. And it's, um, you know, one may argue whether Google Translate's better or not, but it doesn't really matter. S Translator will be on every Samsung Galaxy S4 pre-installed. So if anybody needs something like that, it's ready to go. It's a great marketing gimmick by Samsung, and kudos to them. So anyway, I want to talk about S Translator here. Uh, it's obviously to translate languages, and this is a particular example I already had on here. I actually spoke this. You can type out as well, but you can select the languages that you want to go with. Um, and you can, uh, there's various languages that you can use here, as you can see, French, German, Italian, Japanese, but right now I'm just sticking with Spanish right now. So, um, for example, if I just say something in English, and then it will, of course, speak out. The dog is brown. And so there you go. Um, and of course you can hit... You can you can play it uh, as well, and you can play it in Spanish. El perro es marrón. Now, there's also a high quality uh, higher quality file that they prompt you to download, which you can uh, also do. I'm going to go ahead and actually do that now. This is actually from the Samsung Apps Store. All right, so that's installed. Let's see what if it sounds much different. El perro es marrón. Oh yeah, much better, uh, much much better. Now let's actually uh, play audio. Now I cannot speak Spanish, and I don't pretend to know any of it. Uh, but I grabbed a video, uh, YouTube video, where they speak Spanish on the HTC One here, and I'm just going to go ahead and speak. Now this uh, this is what the person is going to speak in English here. Can you recommend a restaurant? Alright, so can you recommend the restaurant? So we're going to go ahead and hit um, Spanish, to speak in Spanish. ¿Me puede recomendar un restaurante? And the Spanish speaking came out right, um, but of course it didn't come out the exact uh, way that she said it. A restaurant can recommend me. Um, but uh, that works, uh, you know, works pretty good. So b basically what you can do is just have a conversation with somebody by handing them the phone, speaking into it, and you'll get the text back as well as... Um, as well as uh, be able to listen to it as well and the same uh, goes for the person you're speaking with so if you're in Spain or uh, France or wherever that you need to speak another language. So let's try another one. Okay here's what she's going to say. I would like to make a reservation. Alright let's give it a try. Me gustaría hacer una reserva. Perfect. Right on. So that's exactly uh, how it should work. And um, now, you can also go into your history and see different words that you asked for. And you can sort by remove from history. And you can also change the uh, speech rate if you want as well. Um, you can do the speech rate here as well. You can also favorite things. Uh, so for example, in this particular one here, I can go ahead and hit the start and favorite it. And then when I go here and in the menu and hit favorite, the ones I favorited will show up. So if you're going somewhere and you know you you can have something preset ready to go. Now talk of, speaking of presets, there's preset phrases as well that you can go into by categories here. And uh, you can go in and, of course, change the languages and uh, go into any of these and listen uh, in both the English. Excuse me, can you speak English? Perdón, ¿hablas inglés? Or the language of choice that you choose. So it's pretty cool. That's, you know, S uh, Translate. 
um, didn't mean to back out there. So S translate, and it's um, very easy. You can also share and make it full screen. If I if it would press, well, I guess maybe you have to have some text in there to, to um, get it to work. Let's see. Uh, let me just speak uh, something English. Where is the airport? So now, if I hit there, there we go. So I can uh, have a you know a longer um, you know put to put more text on the screen, and of course go back as well. All right, so that's S Translator. So now we want to talk about um, the optical reader, which is also a Samsung new app, new feature, and this will also. Uh, translate as well. Now I'm going to, this is a little spotty, a little bit more difficult actually. Uh, this is a menu that I grabbed, um, Spanish menu, it's a pizza place, and I'm going to actually try to, um, the way this works is you will um, have to aim at certain words and um, with, there's two modes, in, the, in this mode here it's a plus uh, with the brackets around it, and if you and if you highlight certain words, it'll tell you what the words are. Um, let's see if I can get it to work here. Actually, let's see. You have to keep it kind of steady too, which is a little bit of a pain. Now I'm going to go ahead and there's a light as well. I'm going to hit that and see if that helps. Sometimes it needs a lot of light. There we go, that's basil. There's roast. Basil again, a lot of basil. And there's mushroom. See, so it's not easy to work at all. You've got to keep it steady. And, um,. And roast out, you know, but let's just take a look at a translation page that I got here, and uh, let's just go over some words here. This actually works a little bit better. The words are a little bit bigger, and you can see it's uh, doing a pretty good job there. Not picking up that one. And there. I believe that's how much does that cost. So it doesn't really come out right. It's not really good for uh, picking up individual words because it may not exactly sound exactly right by looking at a menu for quick things it may help you but that's that's pretty much how it works now um, I mentioned the light which you can turn on I'll just leave that under there for now you can turn that off and over here is where you can set the languages as well so we're trying to read Spanish now if you do the photo part where you actually you capture an image what, I, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a bunch of this, take an image. Now this will actually save it to your phone as well. And it's picked up a bunch of words here. And I can go ahead and hit a lot of these words, tap on these words that it picked up. Well, some of them not in the dictionary. See there. Oh, that's not in the dictionary. That's weird. So you can see it's it's spotty. It's not perfect like anything else. But you can tap on these these words. Now that this picture is a little blurry. Let's actually see if we can get a better picture. Simulate a better picture here. Actually, let's turn on the light. Okay, that's much better. So we, actually, these will not. Um, 
So you can see that it's something to do with, uh, is the tip included? I remember that sentence. But see, you just tap on these words here. So you could take a picture of a menu and do it that way. Now, if you hit, you go this way, you can actually go in and select the text that you want and you can actually convert this. This is now really different than translating, but this is just another part of it. Um, you can hit done here and you will now have the text to share and put on something, put it in a document, in an email, or whatever. So that is also a really nice uh, feature. Of course, the Google Goggles does a lot of this as well. Now, the other thing that the optical reader does is read a business card. So now I'm going to come in here with a business card. i turn on the light. Well, maybe I won't. Yeah, let's, okay, now, this isn't a full business card, so I'll just line it up here and go ahead and take a picture. Let me put it in better view for you. And this will, you can add it to your contacts. So after you've done this, rather than hit the T for text here, you'll see a little contact icon and you'll see everything that's selected there in the picture and then you come in here and uh, you will now see now it's not perfect there are some things that's always missing but this one did a pretty good job uh, with the address the phone number the name isn't exactly right uh, and the organizations okay where's the email it did not grab the email um, so but Again, that's hit or miss, but that's another feature um, that they're offering as well. And um, that's pretty much it. That's the optical scanner. And these images, you can also import images as well. You can load an image of some picture that you've taken from somewhere else or whatever. And then you can look at your history. Um, and you can also look at uh, dictionaries. So you can do that as well. Um, so it's pretty cool, um, and that is called the optical scanner that's on the Galaxy S4, so that's pretty much it, the S-translated optical scanner does a lot of translating, some business cards, and, uh, and creating text for you to use in documents, so I hope this tutorial helped you out a little bit, and, uh, you'll be able to use these features a little bit uh, easily and uh, that's pretty much it so thanks for watching this is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android